Hi everyone, out in the garage here at the bench, so I just figured I would do a quick video on voltage. How to test for it, and uh, what kind of things you can use to test for it. So voltage is the electrical potential between two points. So if those two points are together, no matter what the voltage is there, it will be zero, because there's no potential between the two. It's only when you space them out and hit two different points that you are checking the potential between them, if that makes sense. So a few things to do. Uh, I got a cord here plugged in just to show us. So we have 120 here. It'll come up as probably 110. There's different testers you can ha use. Here are a couple, if you can see those. They're the older style. You actually had to ground yourself out and then stick it in. You put it in and a little light will come on and if there's voltage there they're good from 100 to 600 volts uh, on the lower ones you really got to make sure your other hands on a good ground to complete that circuit uh, I've actually used this on 600 this actual one and it'll give you a good tickle I honestly I don't recommend it <laughs> so they're, they're okay for just doing quick tests if that's all you have around your house but uh, you definitely don't want to use them for the bigger voltages. Uh, here we have your, we call them the, the, just tick testers. Uh, one neat thing about tick testers is turn them on. How do you know that it works? If you're going to test something for the first time, you need to know before you put your hands in there that this is actually dead. One way to test it is it's, they're sensitive enough to pick up static electricity. You can test to make sure that uh, your battery's not dead. So it'll also work. I'm not wearing a sweater, but if you have a sweater, rub even on your arm there a bit, but definitely on a sweater or a coat. So you do that, check to see if there's electricity. You put it in your pocket, you go somewhere else, you wanna check something, then check it again. Always test to make sure your batteries are good before, because they're gonna die at some point, you just don't know when. <clears throat> the convenience of these, and they're very sensitive, which is good, is, is uh, a huge plus one of the negatives is if you have a couple of wires right close together and you're going along and it's hot if the wire right behind it because it's so sensitive beside it it will read hot as well just because you're in the proximity here's an example uh, as you can see if I hold it this way your left I don't know how well you can see it but your left prong is your neutral the right is your hot. So left neutral, right hot. Because they're close together, if I go on the far outside neutral, it reads cold. But if I go on the neutral, which is cold, there's no power there. Look, it's reading power. It's because I got a hot wire on either side. I'm too close. So if you're in an area or in a box where there's a whole bunch of things you want to check one, they're not good to trust unless you can make sure that you're checking something that's away from everything else, then no problem. These are handy as hell and I love them. They're uh, critically important for just a quick check. But <clears throat> as everything, it's uh, everything has its own place. The ultimate obviously is a meter to get a definitive answer and amount if you need it, but even just to ensure something is live or dead. For voltage, common is common on black. You want to make sure you're V for voltage and on your voltage settings you can see there's two dotted line or straight and dotted sorry and a curved line your sine wave so that is volts DC this is volts AC anything in your home is AC it's alternating current DC is a battery so if it comes from a battery source so we'll put it to that one thing you have to notice the neat thing about this is because you can see inside I'm not sure how much you can see, but the prong is the whole opening right there. Inside, there's only one little copper bar. So if you put this in and miss it, like that, you're not going to read anything until you go over and touch it. So you've got to make sure, if you can't see that, when you're doing it, fiddle around a bit. Get in there, make sure you, you feel it, you've got a good connection. So, when it comes to leads, left or right, 
red or black is in positive or negative your common or your voltage it doesn't matter for voltage so if we put that in we can see that let's see it's jumping because it's touching it not touching it we're at 122 point change so that's what we have there so there is a potential of energy from that wire to that wire of 122.7 volts if you go from hot to hot you get zero there's zero potential between the two because it, it's the same wire it'd be the same as saying what's the voltage of that it's zero there's no potential there so keep that in mind voltage is checking a potential and you can touch voltage on a circuit on anything anywhere you want to check to see best way to check on hot circuits put it to your ground and then take the other one and just see what's my voltage here what's my voltage here that kind of a thing but that's the big thing about voltage is just checking it what devices to use and then just making sure that you put it where you want you it doesn't matter in that sense right it's not a sequence a checking for amperage is completely current totally different i'll go over that in a different video but that is different but voltage you can touch anything you can just stick it in your socket and say oh what's the potential there oh it's it's 122 okay easy to do hope that helps someone if it did Throw me a subscribe and help me out and uh, do some more of these. I should do, uh, do a current one as well. Perfect. Have a good day.